Hi guys, Risa Dia here, and I'm back to do another book talk. And today I'm going to be reviewing Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. And this book is the last book I read. I read it a month ago, I believe. And it is so good. It easily became probably one of my favorite books. It's definitely in my top 10. And what I like about this book is when I first found it, like the cover art is what made me interested in it because like it's just a really cool like kind of almost like not really like manga style but like very close to a manga style like pen and ink drawing which I really really like and the characters just look so fascinating just from this and so I picked it up because the cover art was just really pretty and I read the inside, like the synopsis, and it seemed right up my alley. It actually reminded me of, oh, like, it sounded very familiar, like, almost like Rainbow Rowell's writing, and I love Rainbow Rowell's writing. Like, I haven't read all of her books, but, like, I have a ton of her books. And then I, when I flip back to the front, there's actually a review from Rainbow Rowell on the front, and... Rainbow Rowell ended up saying that it was smart and funny with characters that were so real and vulnerable that you'd want to send care packages to them and that she loved the book and honestly I full-heartedly agree with her review like this book was so good like it's about it's told from two perspectives there's a college freshman named Penny and there's a guy named Sam who works at a coffee shop as like a barista slash um cook because he makes like lots of pastries and stuff for them and it's about how they end up becoming emergency contacts for each other and like and how their relationship develops from there and so Penny is like this really like shy quiet girl like she's known for being like overly prepared for everything like she always has what you need in for like anything like any situation like if you're out somewhere and like you get a cut on your finger like she'll have a band-aid for you like that type like she always has extra things because she never knows what will go wrong and she's like very quiet shy uh, tends to be like invisible a lot of the times and meanwhile Sam is like this barista he uh, dropped out of college he wants to be a filmmaker he's working as a barista and like living in the coffee house and um, he just went through like this majorly bad breakup and has been like trying to like recover from it and a lots of drama happens surrounding him and like his ex and that drama ends up being what makes Penny and Sam kind of connect and like meet and they actually met through Penny's roommate at first but then it's the events that happen with the ex that really set them off towards the relationship starting like even just as friends and they basically end up becoming texting buddies so as they're both going throughout their lives and dealing with the drama of like college work or um, like actual work and their lives and their families um, they're like each other's rocks like they're constantly texting each other like whether it's things like ranting about like their moms or just simple things like hey would this be a cool idea for like a video and things like that and so they use each other to kind of like spitball ideas for like homework and stuff and Penny herself another reason I connected to her is she's actually a creative writing student as well similar to Kath from Fangirl and so I love that fact because I myself am a creative writing student so thought that was interesting and I actually liked the way that the creative writing class was like worked into this story because 
it was done in a way where I actually felt like I was in the class getting lectures and so I actually learned a couple of things that I can now use in my writing which I thought that was just really interesting but that's more of me being a nerd and wanting to learn how to be a better writer. But the characters themselves are so good like each of them has their own flaws and you can like really see those flaws and the flaws are really relatable and I think that's what really makes the story good is because like you want your characters to be relatable especially like this type of story where it's like realistic fiction like if you can relate to the characters like it brings something more than just you pitying them like when you relate to them like it opens up the book a lot more and it's a good way for you to like not only like watch what they're going through but you can take what they're learning and try to apply it to yourself which I think is really good but another like great thing about this book that I absolutely love is the Asian representation in it Penny is actually Korean and I love that fact like if you watch some of my other videos on this channel like you know I'm a big fan of K-pop and I think I've mentioned once or twice that I'm also into J-pop um, and anime so I'm like really big into Asian cultures themselves not just K-pop, J-pop and anime like Asian cultures themselves and like the representation and the lack thereof of representation so for me to read this book and have the main one of the two main characters be Korean in it was so fascinating because they're so underrepresented in the media nowadays and like when I went to do a review of this book like nowadays like there's lots of like the hype of like crazy rich Asians just came out and um the letters to those I loved or the ones I loved or I forgot the name of it but like that new movie is coming out soon and both of them have like are centered around Asian women and stuff and so like that got me thinking like when I read this book like I was already so excited that like there was an Asian in it who was like not only a character but like the main character and seeing like all of her flaws and her strengths and stuff was just amazing but it also got me thinking of like what other books have I read that have like Asian main characters and honestly like I could only think of one and I don't even fully remember the name of it because I read it back in like middle school like this I think is the only book I've read since that one that has centered around like a main Asian character like Actually, I might have read two books, because as I'm thinking about it more, I did read, like, a Chinese historical fiction years ago for a book report, but, like, that's still only, like, two books I've read out of the probably hundreds I've read throughout my life before this one that have had main characters who are Asian in it. So, like, that really shows that they're underrepresented, like, underrepresented, oh my god, in media nowadays and that's part of the reason why I love this book because like Asians deserve more representation every minority deserves more representation and so like if you're out there and like you're of any Asian descent or anything and you really want a book that's relatable and cute and funny and like stressful and especially like represents like Asians like highly recommend this book because like it's one of the few out there nowadays that actually has an Asian main character and it's a good Asian main character like Penny is so funny like she has lots of quirks that maybe I just found them funny because I related to her but like she has like just these really funny quirks and like she's really trying to like find herself and like is trying to balance between like her feelings for like her friends that she's gaining and for Sam and her mother 
I'm like trying to just like find a balance in it all as well as like work on like her stories and just figure out her life in her first year of college so I really like that and it's just so good the romance in it is like really light and funny um the drama in it is like you literally like when it hurts the main characters especially like uh, everything that happens with Sam like you just want to wrap him in a bubble and be like no I'll protect you like let me deal with your ex like I'll be her up and things like that so like I just can't get over like this book is so good I would definitely rate it like five stars out of five stars like if you want to read a book that has Asian representation read this book if you love Rainbow Rowell's books read this book you'll love it it's very similar to her writing style but at the same time is its complete own writing style if you like characters that are just super relatable read this book like I can't get over enough like this book is so good and it's still relatively new so it's not ex like super popular yet but I'm hoping like it will be because this book is so great like highly highly recommend it I cannot say enough how much I recommend and love this book so definitely give it a read it's worth it um I got mine at Target so you can easily get yours there you can probably find it on Amazon Barnes and Nobles I would assume like definitely pick up this book it is definitely worth it so that's all I really have to say on this I mean I could ramble on and on forever but I don't want to give out spoilers um so definitely like give this book a read if you've read this book before let me know down in the comments maybe who your favorite characters were what you thought of the book maybe what one of your favorite scenes was um tag it for spoilers first in case somebody else is reading and like accidentally get spoiled like I don't want that to happen but definitely if you've read this book let me know what you think um and I hope you all have a great day love you bye